thank you commissioner soma before i uh, go into the problem statement for the next recommendation i just want to share that very quick high level process of a green card process uh, companies hire h1b workers uh, uh, and bring them to work and then they file a you know a something called i140 uh, which is for uh, to initiate they go through uh, uh, labor certification and they file for i140 which is initiating their green card process and after m- many years when their visa av- uh, in their category becomes available uh, eb1 eb2 or eb3 these are the different categories when v- uh, visa status or green card becomes available they file something called 485 and they get employment authorization card which is called ead and which for many countries like India and China, where they have 7% country cap, it can take 50 years, 30 years, or 200 years to wait time to get to that stage where they can get file 485 and get the EAD, Employment Operation Card. And what does Employment Operation Card does? It's, it's like it allows you to work for any employer and you can, uh, with EAD and travel documents, you can travel in and out of the country easily. And, uh, and it gives them the uh, workers a lot of flexibility and dignity of work. This recommendation, with that background, this recommendation says the backlog of employment-based visa, immigration green card visas, places an undue burden on the individuals and their families who have approved I-140's immigration peti- petition for alien workers. Some individuals have to wait more than a decade for a visa. This has implication for individuals because it stifles job opportunity and growth. It also negatively impacts the U.S. economy by limiting the workforce and hindering economic growth. The families who are on in this issue, they um, they are uh, facing uh, separation in many cases. Individuals who are waiting for green card may be separated from their families, either either because their family members are unable to obtain visas or because they are not able to travel to the United States while green card application is being processed. Limited job and travel opportunities. A lot of people, they do not go to their respective countries, even if their family members are, you know, have their funerals or, you know, in ICUs, etc. Lengthy processing time, uncertainty to settle down in life and, and uh, reported discrimination at the workplace because they cannot leave that job and limited career growth opportunities. The commission recommends that, and we had uh, internal discussion with USCIS and based on their alignment with what we discussed, the commission recommends that the Department of Homeland Security, USCIS, grant employment authorization documents, EADs, and travel documents to individuals who have approved I-140 employment visa petitions in the category EB1, EB2, EB3, who have been waiting in the visa backlog for five or more years, regardless of whether they have filed applications for adjustment of status. What this will do, this will allow uh, uh, the workers to have increased job opportunities and they can access to a wider range of job opportunities and uh, ability to, um, you know, travel freely without worrying of visa stamping or visa appointments and ability to, to connect with the family members and be able to uh, continue with their lives uh, whether kids going to college or buying a home or settling down.